Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And today we're coming at you from Johnson County, Kentucky. Just a little bit outside of Paintsville. Yes, that's right. Staffordsville. Yeah, in fact. I'm, I forgot, so I'm <laughs> glad you got me out. We're gonna check out the country music, the US 23 <laughs> Country Music Highway Museum. Yes, it's, it's a, a mouthful. mouthful. <laughs> it's a mouthful, but it's a, we're looking forward to this. So. Yeah, we're hoping it's awful too. And we hope that you like this video. If you do, give us a thumbs up. And let's get on to it. Yeah, let's hope the museum is better than the intro. What yeah. <laughs> Excited to check this out, aren't you? I know, it's beautiful on the outside. It looks really like is. an old church. Yeah, sure does. Trail of Fame, Country Music Highway. Let's get in here and take a look. What do you say? Let's do it. Now this is one of the coolest little places we've been to in a while, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. I love it, love it, love it. Oh yeah, we're enjoying ourselves. Yeah, there's a lot of memorabilia here that you're just not going to see elsewhere. Yeah. Including all these great big smash hits by Chris Stapleton that he wrote for other people. Mm-hmm. They have a display for that. Let's make our way around, what do you say? Aren't we going to look at some of those? Oh, well, yeah, it might be, people might want to know that, might they? Yeah. So Josh Turner, your man. That's my favorite one. I, I didn't know he had anything to do with that. Oh, that's that's right. good. George Strait loves gonna make it all right. Yeah. I saw him sing with Luke Bryan, Drink a Beer. That was a big hit. Never wanted nothing more by Kenny Chesney. Oh. Um, comeback song, Darius Rucker. I don't quite remember that one. Swing about Trace Adkins. I don't know that one either. No, but I know which one you do know. Which one? Honky Tonka Donka Donk, you. Yeah. Did he write that one? No, oh, no, he didn't write it. I just oh. Trace Adkins. <laughs> That's why I think anytime I hear the word Trace Adkins. Uh, here's your favorite section. Uh, that, that shirt looks like one that he bought at the Festival of Nations at Dollywood. <laughs> He's a little eccentric, isn't he? He's a little quirky. Eccentric. You know, that face broke many a heart. I will say, I mean, I don't care what he looks like. He'll always look like that to me, won't you? Molly saw that. Yeah. Really? Yep, now kids know him as that guy that sang Old Town Road, or is that what yeah, it's called? Old Town Road, sure Old is. Road. Either Miley's dad or Old Town Road singer. Oh, here's mm -hmm. I remember him right here. A little shirt unbuttoned and uh, <laughs> hair slick back. He's, I like Billy Ray though. I don't know, I don't know why. I got a soft spot for him. <laughs> a lot of displays for him. Platinum cassette tapes. You don't see that, man. You don't see that much anymore. So cool. There's a guitar. Well, oh, here you go. Now there's the picture. Inspired by Patrick Swayze, I believe. Yeah. I was looking, was he in a movie? Radical Jack? I guess so. I guess so, yeah. One that I have to catch. And here's his Keith Urban face. Yeah. <laughs> Moving right along. Patty Loveless. Patty Loveless. I love those clothes that she shared with the museum here. It's pretty cool. Yeah, she's really just like Patty Loveless. But as genuine as it gets, I understand. Yeah. Of course, she sang a version of You'll Never Leave Harlan Alive, which was Oh popular. yeah, it was great. What's your favorite Patty Loveless song? I know that you call on me. I know. I was trying to buy time so I could remember one. <laughs> I bet I have been drinking Diet Coke a lot lately. My brain's not where it should be. <laughs> you can feel bad if it makes you feel better. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, yeah. When angels, when fallen angels fly. There you go. Let's use that one. Uh, I don't remember that one. Uh, it seems like I get her and somebody else mixed up with songs too. Just Dwight Yoakam, which we happened to see in concert together, didn't we? We did, yes. What's Almost your favorite like, Dwight Yoakam song? Um, <laughs> oh, a thousand miles from nowhere. There we go. That's a good one. I was just singing that one. I sang Dixie. When I, when I sang Dixie. I don't, um, I don't know. <laughs> I he, covered some, um, he covered some Elvis. Oh, he covered Purple Rain even. Did he really? He did. He was pretty good. He did uh, Smoke Along the Tracks too. That was an old country song he did. You know, like did a lot. Mm -hmm. so I mean, it's starting to come back to me. Yeah. Get We're getting better there. there. Yeah. And he's also an actor. Yes. He's really he's good. Sling Blade. Sling Blade. But boy, he's He's not so good in Cry Macho, the Clint Eastwood movie. It's not, you, know, you don't want to watch that. Oh. Run your... He's good in Sling Play, though. And here is Hilo Brown. And I really liked how he got the nickname Hilo. It was because of his unique vocal range that he could sing anywhere from tenor to bass. Yeah. How cool is that? 
That is pretty cool. Hollow brownies. You might know him as Frank. Look at his boots. Okay, I'm going to move quickly through some of these displays and we'll get them a little bit better. Just a little bit of Dwight. And then we got to circle back to the Jeds. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I'll show his hat. Just going to write some in Patty Loveless' stuff. We want to make sure you get a good look at that because that's so cool. I think I went through it a little quickly. Do you know where she's from? Eastern Kentucky. Well, that's a good. I'll narrow it down even more for you and say Elkhorn City, so. There you go. I don't think you've been there, probably. Oh, um, my favorite Patty Lovell song is Blame It On Your Heart. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. Yeah. You cheated, didn't you? Or no, something. I didn't. Did you? My, my favorite movie when I was little was um, The Thing Called Love, and that was uh, the big song from it. That's a good movie. That's underrated. Mm -hmm. It is. Really good. River Phoenix. Oh, yeah. Here is... Uh, the Judds. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool how they just have stuff out. Like, you can touch it, you can get a feel for it. Just be touching that. I, mean, I was a little... I touched high, but I almost think touched it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it high. Keep it high. <laughs> yeah, even if it's just a shirt, it's going to <laughs> rip people out. That's really cool. And then the boots. Yeah. Look at those. That's high dollar boot right here. Yeah, those are neat. And the guitar. A, you think that's one owner or the other ones? The other one. <laughs> Whose name? <laughs> Naomi. Naomi escapes. I think it's probably Winona. I think Naomi was a little bit more petite. She looks more like this type, doesn't she? Yeah. The blue dress. Yeah. And of course that other kid that we won't mention. <laughs> Ashley. Oh. I said we weren't going to call her name. She's like Bruno. We don't talk about Ashley. <laughs> Why not? I'm just joking. She's in the Big Stone Gap movie. Yeah, no, I'm just joking. Uh, <clears throat> she's a big Kentucky basketball fan too, from what I understand. Oh so. yeah. The Kentucky blue dress. If you look just right, if I stand here just right, it looks like I'm wearing one on this dress. I mean, Naomi's dress. My head is, I'm right in. You can see that. Skaggs. Ricky Skaggs. I like it. That's a pretty wild looking jacket, isn't it, with he's got Keith Whitley looking down on him from the cross. Oh yeah, that's neat. Yeah, guitar. He was born in Blaine, Kentucky. For, so what's your favorite Ricky Skaggs song? I'm not big on bluegrass. What? It, I like it in person, but I wouldn't just like. Yeah, I know too. I appreciate the artistry, but it yeah, it doesn't translate to listening for for some reason to me either. Yeah, same. And uh, I like. There's something about like the feeling of it being there in person. Yeah, you had Uncle Pen and um, Honey, won't you open the door? He had some good stuff. I like. He had one the same old, same old love, and then Simple Life. He's I really like Skaggs. He just what he represents is really good to me. Yeah. He's got a cool vibe. Now here's a section I just love. Gary Stewart. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, big honky tonk star back in his day in the 70s. He was. It's one of your favorites. One of my favorites. You've heard me sing. She's acting single. I'm drinking double. Oh yeah. Well, so many times you can. What times you can count? Sometimes. Sometimes hear it so much. I want to drink double. <laughs> you drink triple. Don't forget about me. <laughs> oh boy, he was. Here's a good one gone way too soon. Oh yeah. And here's Crystal, Crystal Gale. Gale. She has some cool jewelry that she shared with the museum. No, oh, they were going to put a strand of her hair up, but the roof wasn't big enough. <laughs> ceiling wasn't yeah, tall enough. That's only about a 40 foot ceiling, so she needed a bit. <laughs> and they got some cool Crystal Gale stuff up top too. Uh, now you don't probably know this, but she's Lordine's sister. I did not know that. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't know that. <laughs> Tom T. Hall, uh, and then they got a bunch of awards, him and his wife Dixie won. Awesome. They worked together, and then when she passed away, he was just devastated. Aww. But uh, he wrote a song, Harper Valley PTA, which is... It's a good song. Yeah, it is. It's a great song. I wrote a song about it, too, but Tazewell County PSA. Kind of <laughs> <took> a... <laughs> the Public Service Authority was not happy with me for a while. Yeah, <laughs> say not. Pride of Olive Hill, Kentucky. A week in country jail. What if I could break in there and steal anything? It'd be with this stuff. <laughs> you know, like this place caught on fire and people were looting, I'd be right up in here stealing it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, I, that would never happen, but, but really. if it did. So cool though. I, I'm a huge Tom T. Hall fan. My dad was too. Oh, he is. He's, uh, I'm teased gone, Dad's still one. <laughs> and here we go. This is probably the 
peaks de resistance for most older fans. Oh yeah. Should be Loretta Lynn. Oh yeah. Miss Loretta. The queen of country. The queen of country. Frankly, you could say she's the queen of music. Don't get an argument from too many people. Look at that dress. That's really pretty. I'm guessing, is that her wearing it right now? It looks like it, yeah, I think so. I they, Look, they even have her actual shoes out on display. Little watermelon shoes, and it's got her signature on. I wonder what size she wears. Looks pretty small, don't it? I'll have to compare it to mom. Yeah. I'm going to I'm guess a seven. <laughs> I saw <laughs> choose a foot locker because I'm, <laughs> and I, so I'm pretty, I think you're pretty close with that. I really like the Crisco ad. <laughs> we'll do you proud every time. Okay, do you proud and <laughs> clog your arteries. But <laughs> well, she didn't die of heart disease, I don't guess. That no. Or at her age, anyway. And there's the old Texas Troubadour. That's tub up there to top with her, so that's pretty neat to see. Oh, uh, I can't pass by her without showing some Conway Twitty. Mm-hmm. I think we saw one over here on the back. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think it's time to just say hello, darling. Yeah, I think so. Hello, darling. Conway Twitty. I love Conway. I know. Or Sissy Spacek, who played Loretta in the movie. Where's that at? Down there. Oh, yeah. This is really fun. And here, another guy, legendary, Keith Whitley. Mm, of course. I've even seen men try to imitate his hairdo, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> it makes me think of my good friend Donnie Sargent from Homemaker. He passed on, but he loved classic country and he loved Keith Whitley. Well, I agree with him on both of those. We have something in common. Uh, what, That's good stuff. What's your favorite Keith Whitley song? Oh my gosh, would you quit doing this? <laughs> I didn't ask Lauren Lynn because it's so easy. Uh, I know. Treat me what out. is your favorite Lauren Lynn? I'll buy you some time. Cole Miner's Daughter. Uh, Isn't that everybody? I guess. I like this, this city, though. I like hearing. We'll yeah, go crack another one's good. noggin. That's always, that's always appealed to me. Yeah. Uh, you ain't woman enough to take my oh, hand. Yeah, that's a great one, too. One. Yeah, it absolutely is. I'm uh, sure there's others. I just, you know. Oh, yeah, we're scratching the surface. Don't come oh, yeah. home drinking with loving on your Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good one. Tons of them. I don't know Rebecca Lou Howard. I'm sorry to tell you. I don't either. Mm -mm. I know the steel driver sits on the same page with her. Yeah. <laughs> They got uh, frequent rhythm and roots in Bristol. I don't know, didn't Chris Stapleton play with them too at some point, maybe? Oh, yeah, maybe so. Yeah, Rebecca Lynn Howard. Hmm. hmm. Well, some of the recorded her music are Patty Loveless, John Michael Montgomery, Trisha Yearwood, and Lila McCain. I used to, oh, I was just reading that. Oh. Well, she's a pretty woman, anyway. Yeah, she is. Now let's move to this back along. We'll start up here at the tippy top with Larry Cordell, who appears to have been associated with Garth Brooks. Mm hmm. Well, having his own career, of course. Larry Cordell. Then we got to. That must be his shirt. Yeah. With a nice shirt. Too small for me, but. Oh, we're over to Chris hair. Stapleton. I'm, we're, getting, <laughs> we're getting closer to my size. That's an award too, you gave him. I'll be on my award. And getting into Tyler. Tyler Childers. Yeah, I like his shirt. Yeah, nice shirt. Mm-hmm. And we're not along. And here's the. Grand finale, I guess. Back to yeah. Chris Stapleton. Yeah. We probably should have started there since we had started with him on the wall, but you know. Hey, that's us for you. That's us for you. Yeah, his song. Now yeah. that is cool. Yeah, that is cool. Why don't you try that on? That's a genuine way. Yeah, you can feel that. It's thick as. You can take a bullet with that thing on. Yeah. It's high quality. Oh, hat. And boots, look at that. Must be his boots. Pretty good. So, what size shoe do you think he wears? Oh, I don't know. Man, sizes. Looks like about 
12, 13. Mine's bigger than I think they're wide. Maybe. Oh. We'll just find out. It's coat size 48. There you go. So there we go. The guitar. Mm-hmm. I'm getting an instrument. Nice. I'm gonna look up here at some pictures again you know, to wrap this thing up. For 100 points to control the world, of the board, I should say, name some lyrics to the song Your Man. Baby Lock and Doors and Turn Your Hearts Down Low. I love that song, I always do. I do too, I like that one. It, it sounds was, like Chris. It does, and what's funny is uh, that Scotty McCreary, if you ever watched oh, him, when he, was yeah, on, yeah. he was on American Idol, and yeah. he sang it over and over and over, and they started making fun of him. He did really good with it. He did. It. He's probably more known for it than Josh Turner is. Yeah, I was going to say, that's probably how I heard it most. I wonder if uh, Chris Stapleton got some royalties off of them performing yeah. on American Idol, but he did. And Chris even went to Staffordsville to his high school. Or right, or is that actually in Paintsville? I think his he high lived, school was in Paintsville, but he yeah, lived in Yeah, but he lived in Staffordsville, which is where the museum is here. He took on a few different looks in his career, right? He? he has, yeah. That just doesn't, you know. Mm. Went through LASIK eye surgery, it looks like. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he had his glasses. Then he had his Billy Ray Cyrus face over here. I don't think really that's Billy Ray. Billy Ray Cyrus with a beard. Oh. All right. So this is a neat little place. I mean, it is a neat little place. We're not all the way up there. You see this painting? That's really neat. Yeah, those are awesome. Gary Stewart, Dwight Yoakam. I guess that's Billy Ray Cyrus there. Right? I like that quote by Roy Rogers over there. Until we meet again, may the good Lord take a liking to you. Oh, that's great. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, it but is. There's High Moon, Brown, My Land, Tomty Ho, and I'm sure that's just wearing you out, and then the Crystal Gale. Mm -hmm. It's crooked. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Why don't like, you shimmy up there and straighten that up for them? I like that picture of the Judds on their Alma. That's a good one. Yeah. Can we look around? Shane, what are you doing? Busted. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this look at the <laughs> Country Music Highway Museum. U.S. 23. U.S. 23, yeah. Yes. U.S. doesn't roll off the tongue very smooth, does it? U.S. 23 Country Music Highway yeah. Museum. But this was a good, good win for us. I love to come in here. We missed yeah. it. When we were painful before, we missed it and didn't have a chance to get here, but mm -hmm. it was well worth driving up here today, so. Yeah, and it's just a $5 entry for fee, so definitely oh, yeah. worth it. Absolutely worth it to see this memorabilia. Great, great stop. Yes, absolutely. So we hope you like this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't, and we'll see you on down the Country Music Highway. We will, and, and if you want to come here and try to fill Loretta Lynn's shoes or Keith Chris Stapleton, good luck. Yeah.